Hi, this is Shadi. Last night, the training was guided by Shohei Ono and Shinji Hosokawa. If you don't know, both world champions and Olympic champions, Hosokawa mainly in the 80s, and Ono, who recently retired. It was very crowded and no pictures, nothing. Even they separated uh, two sessions, each an hour. So uh, it was very quick, uh, but they did show the essence of their judo, Hosokawa with his Seoenage and Ono with his Osotogari. So it was very difficult to get on the side of the mat and get my phone, etc. But uh, I did manage to catch something, a very important detail that will really revolutionize your Osotogari. So you're probably familiar with all of these uh, clips. So the main thing about them is, of course, overwhelming the uh, upper body, but there is something that he does with the lower body. So I went to the side and I filmed the big screen. It was very difficult to penetrate through the crowd. So the supporting foot, it should not be shallow, meaning you have to really overreach with your reaping foot, nor turn to the side. It's really about bumping chest to chest forward and uh, actually uh, stepping in. And here's the trick. He says it's an Osoto Otoshi and he uses mainly, uh, he aims for his butt, buttocks to align with the buttocks of his uh, opponent or actually behind. And then uh, the hip, the side of the hip. So kind of like you're lifting on to the hip and then really overwhelming the upper body with your hands and planting your foot. It's not about reaping at all. It's really about uh, using that hip to block, as you see here, and overwhelming the upper body. Uh, it's not about that swinging leg. So, o soto otoshi. It's about stepping very deep. Either the supporting foot is next to your opponent's foot or even behind. You do not reach with your attacking foot and so you plant it deep and you keep a straight posture chest to chest and planting it almost like you're pushing with your one buttocks and one hip, uh, almost like a hip throw in a sense, but to the back and then once you plant that foot deep enough, it's really about the finish with the hands. So this is the difference between Osoto Otoshi and Osoto Gari. And um, here you see Osoto Gari, it's about that big swing of the foot that reaps the leg, while of course the hands will be doing the same thing. But Osoto Otoshi, it's more about that hip and buttocks connection and then planting that attacking foot really down deep and back and that's why it was incredibly unstoppable it's really about putting that barrier of course we all know about his strong legs and uh, him being strong in general but here where you see how you know legs like Ono truly shines it's really about planting that you know tree trunk behind them and overwhelming with the upper body and uh, the buttocks and the hips play a major role as you see um, he didn't even need to do anything almost like he lifted his uke uh, on them so another thing that he did or he does in competition is you see him almost rotating here and then attacking this he explained that it's for those who actually push forward because if someone is pushing you forward you cannot really attack with osoto so what he does is he moves out the way rotate around them and then from there he attacks with the foot so mainly like nage no kata uh, i did a kata video recently a lot of people say it's useless it's outdated i drill in jujitsu and really ridiculous stuff but here you see the essence of those movements and how you can create an effortless setup all by proper movement and preparing the right angle but instead of here finishing with uchimata they're on the side and that's where you can clip their leg and really finish them as you just saw he had a devastating o soto otoshi and for a very good reason 
staying by the fundamentals, being physically strong, obviously, and really about those hips pushing forward and keeping that posture up, that good base. So if you have anything to add, let me know down below. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.